Hey, that was too e easy. Magnus, let's jump to Magnus. What is going on here? Uh, seconds on the clock. In fact, I don't see any seconds for three seconds. Six seconds. The players are playing really with no time. Whatsoever. Two seconds for Magnus there. And, and we've the got a king and pawn endgame. Racing. And I guess everybody's going to get a queen and Magnus is going to be a pawn up at the end of the... Five seconds. Okay, everybody's got a queen. Now, I think we saw an ending like this that Prague won when his king found a safety. Remember on G6? Can yeah. Magnus... The qu oh, Ooh, hesitation there. there we oh, sure oh, was. Oh, queen C5 check. And Magnus is going to go about centralizing his queen. He's going to do it with a few checks just in order to, to, to gain, gain some, some time. time. And yes. the big question for Arjun is how, where should he put his king? Exactly. And you just played G4, and I think that was a really, really good, good move. As Ma For Magnus, I would rather him play that move when his queen is like on E4, really, really nicely centralized. But he's, he's got the right technique. Does he have the time on the clock to... Yeah, yeah he does. I think the, the problem is for Arjun, he will have to find some accurate moves in order to hold this. Almost impossible. I mean, okay. with no time on the clock. Here we go. Check. Good idea. Queen checks. So, a bit and of relief. A bit of relief for Arjun that he's managed to get and the king out of G2. Look where Arjun, look, Magnus has put the, the king opposite the white king. Okay, so now, now, he's, now. Ah, now he's got his pawn to G2. That should be enough. Okay. Oof. Handshake. Wow. What a way to finish. 